Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I just finished about 15 minutes back. Now I was playing here with a similar rated player and I started off with d4, opponent goes for uh, e6 here. I played bishop to b6, I just closed the opening explorer here. Yeah, and after that opponent plays a b6, kind of uh, trying to develop the bishop from uh, b7 there. I went with c3 trying to make a solid pyramid in the center eventually. Open lines up the bishop. I go with knight to f3. Uh, open develops knight to f6 and here comes e3. Trying to solidify the center. Open goes for early c5 here and I take on. Open takes back with the bishop with momentum developing a piece so it's good for the opponent. But I was okay because I wanted to make sure that uh, my queen is lined up in the center and I can probably exchange the dark square bishops from there as well. So I place my bishop onto d6, opponent doesn't take, and plays a nice move which is knight to e4, which uh, actually displaces my bishop from here. I either can take or can come back uh, onto either f4 or even g3. Open can take in that case and I will take back and open up the h file. So stuff like that can happen or you can trade off the bishops because you can't keep your bishop now. Two or two pieces are attacking it and there's only one defender. So I took on the bishop opponent takes back with the knight. And here I went with a queen to d6 making sure that opponent still faces troubles while castling. So a knight comes back now onto e4 trying to attack the queen. And now I place my queen onto f4 which was kind of decent as well. Open castles now and I play bishop onto d3 attacking the knight. Knight goes back onto f6 and here I place my queen onto h4. Now yes I am threatening to take on h7 with couple of pieces but that's not checkmate because knight is defending it. So I need to displace this knight is my next uh, criteria here. Uh, so most likely what I would have done is place knight onto g5 trying to pressurize here further. So I thought, let's just kill the knight and solve the trouble. I take back, but what that uh, does is opens up the g-file for the attack. So I can get my rook onto the g-file and do something about it. Open plays pawn forward, uh, d5. I went with knight to uh, d2, trying to prepare into castle, as well as uh, then lining up the rooks on the g-file. Opponent goes knight d7. And here I place my rook on the open file, uh, G, uh, the G file on to G1, open place pawn forward, uh, trying to negotiate any threats of any sacrifices or any kind of stuff. Uh, also stabilize, this pawn is already uh, quite secure, so uh, there is no sacrifice happening as well. I went with queen to G5, open place king on to H8, and here I castle. Open goes back with the knight, that was kind of weird. Uh, but what it, it, it was doing is to exchange the queens of the board. And when you are ahead or pressurizing the opponent already, you don't want to trade off queens. Uh, when you are attacking, make sure you, you utilize your queen to the maximum as well. And that's what I tried to do by bringing the queen back onto g3 there. Maybe trying to uh, double up, triple up, uh, maybe just then slide the queen, have a sacrifice here with the bishop and the rook as well, and then eventually checkmate. Open gets a rook on to c8 uh, and I started the march, the pawn march by placing h4. Now what h4 is indicating is I'll push it to h5 and h6 and then uh, g7 will always be a weakness. Now the best move in the situation is to get the knight out so that you prevent pawn from moving forward because then you can take with the knight itself. Uh, but here my open places h5 which I thought uh, it, it is actually calling out for a sacrifice. Sacrifice of the uh, bishop, take a pawn, open takes back, you take back with the queen, and you can manufacture some stuff from there, is what I believed. Didn't calculate it wholly, but I thought it's a five minute blitz. I will have some time to calculate even after I take it. This was so tempting, I couldn't stop my mouse, and I just went on with the bishop takes pawn, open takes back, and I got the second pawn as well, which was good enough. I knew I'll get at least two pawns for the bishop, if not the checkmate eventually. Uh, so that was good. Now I'm threatening checkmate from g7. Open places queen onto f6. 
if you see the computer's best move is to play queen to e7 so that then you can place your queen in between and then queens can be exchanged what happens with queen to e6 is that after i take the pawn uh now opponent has to get the knight in between or the queen and whatever you get there's a deflection happening next so i take on the knight and now it's a check either you just put your king up uh and don't take or you could take and lose the queen and that's what happens and, and anything on from there was bad the opponent tries to run away with the king i got my rook active a check pushing the king trying to get my knight uh into activity as well and here comes d4 knight to d4 uh which was the last move of the game as well because i am threatening to take on the pawn uh i am attacking with the knight couple of pieces already attacking the rook as well and i have other rook also lining up maybe so this was completely brutal i would say and yeah and i enjoyed it uh, that sacrifice worked out uh, and even if my opponent would would have played the best combination from there the game was uh, still in control i would say it was not something where uh, it was tough to uh win it from there uh, because here if you see the best move uh, still i am 0.3 like it's it's a simply almost equal position because you get the queen in between now i can trade off uh, but even if this setup is there given to me i would say i fancy my chances i can just simply get my rook on to g3 double up uh, give checks uh, slide over the rook on to uh, h5 eventually and try and go for a checkmate from here as well so the, this was in control uh, the sacrifice was not really the sacrifice uh, but it it worked out pretty well it it was always going to be equal from there as well even if the best moves were played i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback keep watching and sharing do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now and i shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content thanks for your time take care bye bye